perhaps unsurprisingly amongst other fixtures, Charlton's game at Hartlepool has been called off because of the weather. But Gillingham hope the covers on the Priestville pitch will ensure that Saturday's game against Chesterfield does go ahead. After three successive away wins, the visit of the League Two leaders will be a stern test for Andy Hesse Taylor's team. And days of old, there was a degree of uncertainty over who would be number one at Christmas, and then usually it was Cliff Richard. But recently, Simon Cowell's X Factor winners have held an iron grip. Fiona Lewis, she started her career with a number one in 2006. There can be miracles. The following year, it was Leon Jackson. And then Alexandra Burke had her go in 2008, but then came Facebook and the backlash. And this year, an extrovert chat from Brighton is the focus of many people's hopes of spiking the X Factor's domination. Juliet Parkin, ah, uh, the report. Mm. Excuse me, have you heard the word? What word? Oh! Oh, and everybody's heard about the bird. It's not a pretty sight that this festive figure would be about to trample all over the Christmas charts. Brighton comedian Matt Whistler and a local film company took to the city's streets to try and bring something a bit different to the airwaves. I do think there are people out there who are just looking for a bit of fun on Christmas Day. They want to see something a bit different. And, you know, I don't want to say anything against emerging talent. Because I believe everybody's in with a good chance. Um, but, you know, we do want to get to number one. Let the truth be done. It's the battle of the mats. Brighton's bird could ruffle a few feathers if he beats the X Factor winner, Matt Cargill, to number one. And I think we something different at breaking the norm, so, yeah, I'm all for it. <laughs> very funny, <laughs> very entertaining. Fantastic, very Brighton. Even the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds have come out in support of the single with their own little tribute. The Trashman's 60s Surf Pit is currently third in the charts, leaving the video's creators stumped. We, we have no idea. Uh, we, 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 we. I lost the words. And with over 600,000 members in a Facebook campaign group to get Surfing Bird to number one, it's looking good. Rhea Chatterjee, BBC Sounders Today. I don't think it's a fashion statement it's going to catch on. Say nothing. Now, um, I was stuck. For